this is how my electrical panel looks like it's usually divided into two halves and generally consists of dozens of switches or breakers it's always good to mark which switch belongs to which appliance this is a switch so it is connected like this if it is in this position it is on if it is in this position it is off now before um, talking about further details the most important thing here it is it's an alternate current it's an AC supply it's a high voltage supply so you have to take a lot of precaution to make sure you are not electrocuted it's very 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 important for from safety point of view so the first thing the foremost thing is uh, put something like a wooden block now here it's this is a wooden block so I put it here this is the first safety measure because electricity cannot pass through a wooden block second thing is uh, some rubber slippers third thing is the most uh, the most important instrument I would recommend is like buy something like this this is a uh, this is to test the electricity in a wire or the voltage in a wire so this and this is this is basically contactless so well, how it works is you can buy it from Home Depot you can buy it from uh, other places as well so you turn it on and you check like this This means there is a live current going on here. Live current going on here. Live current going on here. So all of these switches as you see, they are in on position. What I have done is, since I have to replace a switch here, I have turned all of them off except one, this one, because this one is actually is for the light here. If I turn it off, the light will go off. So now let's check. Let me show you how it works this side. If I turn this one on, this says there is an electricity coming here. These are the wires which carry electricity to the appliance. If I turn this one off, this one doesn't show me anything. Okay. Uh, first, I would recommend check whether your switch is working fine or not. If every switch here has at one wire going out of it. And for O1, uh, O1 consumes more, needs more voltage. So, um, it, it, it requires two switches together at the same time. If you see this one, this one is also two switches. There are few switches which are two switches combined together. These are two wires. One wire going to this switch, red wire, black wire going to the other switch. Now let me turn it on. Yes, there is an electricity going now. Yes, there is an electricity going now. Turn them off. And show you another demo so this switch is connected like this it has two uh, two places where the wires go they are like in, in, in my example the red wire goes here and the black wire goes here and you can tighten up with a screw place a place this switch here and then push it so it, it gets connected so in my case I don't need to replace the switch so I'll keep it like that The other most important thing I would like uh, everybody to remember is the company. Every company, for example, in my case, it is Siemens. So every you should know the company of uh, of, of your um, electrical panel because every company manufactures its own type of switch. For example, this one is for Siemens. So. Make sure that you know which, like if you want to buy a switch, make sure you know the company name and you know what kind of appliance you are, you are um, for, for which you are buying the switch. For example, for Owen it is I think 40, 40 ampere current and for other small appliances it is not uh, that heavy a switch that you would need. If you, if you want to remove the breaker, you have to push it from here. For the breakers here, you have to like apply some pressure. You have to first unscrew these screws which I showed before. 
remove these wires sometimes these these wires are very very thick and very hard so you might need a small i don't know maybe something like this and then just push pull it make sure you don't touch the metal part so that there is and and first of all make sure that these switches are in, in the off position and you don't touch the metal part when you when you pull it so you have to pull it little bit apply little bit pressure and then remove it and then replace it with the new switch so what i have done actually is when i remove this uh, cover of the panel uh, when i then i notice that this fun this is functioning very well so if i turn it off it doesn't show the electricity if i turn it on it is now showing me the electricity so i don't need to actually replace these switches so what i'm going to do is i'm going to replace back the panel okay so this is uh, how it looks like after i put the cover it has all the moves in here and then all the switches are in off position let me turn them on one by one these two are together so like this these two are also actually together so like this this one and here you go thank you very much and have a great day